lot of young people um, in the church and you know, just young people in general have a lot of things that are going on with them that cause them to act out in certain ways and um, when people look at them people normally criticize them they see somebody with their pants hanging down and they see somebody that has anger issues or they see somebody that has uh, just they're not doing the right things and instead of sitting down to get to know them sitting down to to see how they can positively affect them in their life or lead them in the right direction they sit down and they criticize them um, and what the people in the church and what the people on the out, on the outside need to do is they need to like in, form relationships with these with these young people because one person can make a difference in somebody's life if they would only take that time to show them some some love i had two piano teachers one was george davis uh, and one was uh, Heather Hurlity. Uh, George Davis, he was the, uh, one of the organists and one of the former music uh, leaders or directors for Linden Church. And um, besides teaching me to play the piano, he would sit down and talk to me about life. He would sit down and talk to me about uh, being a man. He would sit down and talk to me about God. It wasn't just here, here's a here's a music lesson. He really, really cared about me, and he he saw a potential in me, and he saw that that love that I had for the piano, and that love that I had from the for the piano came from one of the piano teachers that I went to before him, and like I said before, her name was Heather Hurlity, and it was when I began, it was the most dreadful experience that I could I have ever gone through. I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to play the piano. There were certain life issues that I was going through that um, was burning, burning deep down in my soul. And I was acting out in certain ways when I went to school. When I went to school, I was acting out in certain ways. But when I went to piano lessons, those feelings would come up because I didn't want to be there. And I didn't like this lady. And every week she'd give me a lesson to, to, to learn and I didn't, I didn't practice. I'd come there and I'd sit down and, and with a frown on my face, like a real angry look on my face. I would be real, real disrespectful to her. I really, really, really did not like this woman. So this went on for about two months. And one month I got so angry because if there was something that was going on in my life at the time and I was just so angry about being there that I refused to do anything when I went there. And when she spoke to me, I was real disrespectful to her. And she told me something that will live with me for the rest of my life. She, um, she told me, she sat down with me, she, she closed the piano and she said, Andre, what's wrong? I'm looking at this lady like, what do you mean, what's wrong? In my mind, I'm just looking forward, not, not, not talking to her. And she's like, Andre, what's wrong? And she was like, I know that this is not the person that you are. I know that this is not how you act. I know that this is not you. And she, she said that, Andre, do you like me? And I was like, is this the, the question that you, you want to ask me right now? Like, in my mind, I'm like, no, I don't like you. And she said, Andre, even if you don't like me, I love you. And she said, I see a lot of potential in you. And I want to be your friend. And I want you to feel like you want to be my friend. And she just said, I hope that next week when you come back, um, you will, you'll, you'll practice, you'll go to practice and we can have a, a nice lesson. And for that week, I actually, I practiced, like for the first time I sat down and I practiced. And in doing that, in the music that she gave me, I found out that I could put my feelings into, onto the piano. Like whatever feeling that I was, I was going through, I could play it on the piano. And we began talking, we began talking about, about just life in general. And by through talking, I found out that she was Christian. So I told her that I'm, I'm a Christian too and I want to play in church. And she would give me, uh, she gave me, uh, Christian music to play. She used, her and her husband used to play in church. And she would sing and her husband would play the piano. And she gave me her husband's books. And her husband died like 30 years ago and those were treasures to her. And she gave me her husband's books and when I would go to church, I would play, I would play these songs in church. 
and these people would like congratulate me and congratulate me and all I would think is if you ever knew who the person was that was teaching me you got it would it would blow your mind man but um from my experience with her my whole life changed like that anger started to slowly subside I found a way to place my anger I did not want to disappoint her so I didn't want to I didn't want to be the way that I was before and she gave me something where it put put joy in my life so slowly over the months over the weeks over the months of going to her I started to I changed drastically into a totally different person where I was calm I was respectful I was decent I was there was a difference between me and my friends or me and the people that were on the outside so she taught me from when I was in elementary school until like my sophomore year of high school and then I went to Brother Davis and uh, a little after I left she came down with a heart problem a heart condition and she had heart surgery but she loved to teach people so much she loved to uh, she loved to give lessons so much that her doctors advised her to 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 like take take her time to stop teaching and just to relax and just retire completely. But she loved her children so much that the children that she had come to lessons and she loved the impact that she had on them and giving them this knowledge that she had that she couldn't take with her to the grave that she didn't care she didn't want to stop. And um, and because she didn't stop. Uh, one night she went to sleep and she didn't wake up and it was because she uh, put the, she, the, the energy that she put into her teaching was just too, was too much for our heart. She didn't want to rest and she died she died because she, she loved young people and uh, that's something that that always always stayed stayed with me um that's the one thing that that stuck in my head when i was at went to her funeral she uh she died because she wanted to make sure that 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 i came out all right and <clears throat> now because now that i'm a, a leader in, in in my church I have the same the same goal that I, I the same goal for for these young kids. I see what these young these young kids are going through, and I want to do what was done for me. Uh, I want to form relationships relationships with them. I want to show them that I really care about them. I want to show that I've been through what they've been through, and even more, and that there's a there's a there's a, a way that they can think. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, and this is the road that leads to that light. And the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing now, the reason why I'm at the place that I'm at is because people didn't criticize me. People came to me and showed that love to me and showed that care for me and that they wanted the best for me. And it made me want to do that. And that's what we need, made me want to be better. And that's what we need to do for for the young people today. Show them that love, show them that care, and the future will be bright. And I wanna say, uh, I, I wanna uh, give a special shout out to uh, Delray Brooks and Deron O'Connor, because uh, those people also, uh, uh, showed that love for me when I was an idiot. And they, they just really, really, really changed my life. And that's why I am the way that I am. That's why I'm successful right now. Because they love me and a lot of, many other people. But that's what we need to do for the youth. Yeah, for the whole two. <laughs>